Hi everyone, welcome back to Tim B's Tech Talk. Today, I want to talk about Flipboard. Flipboard is arguably the most popular news reader available today. Originally released in July 2010 for the iPad, Flipboard was eventually made available for the iPhone, other mobile platforms, and desktop computers. Flipboard essentially aggregates news from a variety of sources and invites users to become active contributors. Newsreaders are ubiquitous, but somehow Flipboard managed to make them social. Before I explore that aspect in more detail, let's first take a brief look at newsreaders. Newsreaders enable you to access news feeds by choosing from a range of pre-selected topics or by using a built-in search function to find specific areas of interest. In many ways, newsreaders supersede Save It For Later apps like Instapaper and Pocket because they serve both as a vehicle for finding news as well as a place for storing articles away. Flipboard represents the best of this genre, but other apps have been important contributors. USA Today and NPR were some of the first established news sources to enter the market, yet other apps like Flood, Pulse, eventually LinkedIn Pulse, SkyGrid, Zyda, News360, Feedly, Early Edition 2, Paper by Facebook, Pulp, and Google Plus were key to making newsreaders a success. Most notably, Early Edition offered the best example of skeuomorphic design, a digital replication of a traditional newspaper, that is before Apple flattened everything out, Zyda enhanced personalization, Feedly offered greater speed and fluidity, and options for Google customers to migrate their feeds after the app went defunct, and Paper by Facebook superbly integrated Facebook feeds into a newsreader format. Pulse, however, was the first app to make the newsreader experience accessible through a browser, encouraging Flipboard to elevate its game. Apple News entered the market much later, building on the success of these earlier newsreaders, but taking a more top-down approach by introducing curation and subscriptions to increase revenue streams. Newsreader apps have greatly transformed how we access news today, but Flipboard figured out a way to make them social. Flipboard has been known for its tile flipping interface, but the most significant development came when the company introduced My Magazines. While smart magazines provide top-down curation, articles generated for you by topic, My Magazines consist of stories you collect and assemble in accordance with the theme or topic you choose. Essentially, you curate your own collection of articles and assemble them into your own magazines. There are no other newsreaders that provide that level of user-generated curation. So what is social about My Magazines? My Magazines are inherently social because they can easily be viewed by other Flipboard users, and it's very easy to set one up. First, start a new magazine. Second, give it a title and a description. The description is optional. And third, check the option to make it public so everyone can see it. Once your magazines are made public, people can subscribe to them, flip your articles contained within them into their magazines, or share them on social media. Even from an administrative standpoint, magazine owners can invite others to contribute articles to their magazines. Who can benefit from Flipboard? Businesses, single professionals, or bloggers can benefit from Flipboard magazines because articles posted on proprietary sites, say like WordPress, can be flipped into a Flipboard magazine, inviting the world wide web to have access to their content. And why should anyone limit themselves by posting articles on a dedicated site that only a handful of people will read? By setting up a Flipboard magazine to correspond with your blog post online, you can greatly increase your online presence. Furthermore, you invite people to actively collect and share your articles in ways you can never do internally through paid memberships and exclusive followers. Now, top-down models are useful when the intent is to make your content exclusive. On the other hand, if your goal is to reach broader audiences, Flipboard provides a great option for doing so. Anyway, that's my short synopsis of Flipboard. Thanks for checking out this episode, and please like and subscribe to the channel. See you later.